All right, you guys, so any of you guys that have watched many of my videos notice they all have the exact same about turn. And that was originally the name of my business, About Turn Dog Training. Oh, I thought that was so clever. And in hindsight, then it ended up being one of my signature moves. <laughs> so there you go, self-fulfilling prophecy. But there's a, very, there's a very specific reason they're all doing it the same way. And it would be the same thing if well, we all learn dancing from the same person. Hi, Sonia. So it's a very, very technical turn. And if you said, well, you mean more technical than Larry Crone and all these, they don't even have a turn. And we need a ha-ha for that one, Mike. No, they need a bigger than ha-ha. They need the R-O-L-M-F-O or -O -O, whatever that thing people put rolling on the floor thing. We need that. And if you said, what's that? That's the ha-ha, but it's giant. And the eyes are not buying the story at all. <laughs> so... I put the one video of Briggy in slow-mo because I think that that helps people understand. And if you said in dancing, there's not a lot of pause steps. There are. There are. There are steps where there's a momentary pause and a momentary pause. and a, So that's how you have to think of the turn. In fact, I think I should probably do it with my chalk. So if you said, when can you do this drill? And this is what you have to say to yourself. Hi, Sonia. You've got to have plenty of forward momentum. You've got a dog that understands to go forward. Because if you said, what, what if not, it's going to start lagging behind. So the pager needs to mean move faster. So I need to have a very specific footwork. And I don't really want my platform right here. I want my platform right here. So if you don't have enough forward momentum, you're going to know that real fast with this drill because you're not going to be able to speed them up. So I'm going to do it first without the pager. And the way, the reason they turn that way is because of what the handler is doing. I should make this round. I want you to think of this as a round, like a barrel. So what the dog is going to do is go around here. So it only makes sense. The dog is taking a lot more steps if the handler is stationary. The dog has got to go all the way around the handler. They've got to go all these steps oops, around the handler. So that's how you're mapping it out in your mind. And if you said, well, how should I? You should practice without the dog first. So if you said, what do you mean? The dance steps without the partner first. That's probably how they make them do it. 
So you're like this. Step, 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 turn. Step, 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 turn. And understanding that the dog is going, covering a lot more ground than you. Let me see if Shoe Bottom will do it without that. She's trying to get the leash. You shouldn't have, let me just show you. So if I'm here, and that's how you're practicing it in the beginning, you guys. Have your little thing like this. Look, I'm stopping. She's, if you said she's not staying on those dots, she is. Look at her. So that's how it is. You've mapped it out. You've drawn it out. You're going step by step by step by step. And you have to know the steps first. I understand, and that's why I put that video in slow-mo. The pause becomes only slight. And that's where you're going. That's where people go. Da 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 da, -da pause, go. Da da da, -da, -da pause, go. If you're not careful, you don't see the pause. And then if you said, well, then what happens? Then you're out of step. And if it said, well, what happens once you're, well, once you're out of step, you're out of step. <laughs> There's no going back and step. All right, so she's over there eating the grass like she always does. All right, let me get rid of this monster. Okay, so she's around the corner pooping. Hello, wolves. <laughs> I was going to say, she's going to come running. So that's what you're thinking of. You, can, you don't need the pager to do this. The pager's only helping me, but what you do need, and you should probably put the treats on the other side for this, because you're being very deliberate with your hands. That's, that's what you're thinking. The dog, you're the inside, the dog is the outside. You're a barrel. Anybody that knows anything about barrel racing understands the turns are very, very specific. So I'm doing it first without the pager. I'm just creating that move. Am I wrong, Mike? It's very technical. So that's how we're going to turn. If you said, well, can you go faster? Yes, you can do it faster. They're able to go way faster than us. Yay. Yay. I'm adding a little additional speed. So I want to get to the point because I use the pager. I've got to make sure I've got a dog that will move with me, and so here comes. Yay! She's even got the default down. I'm gonna step off, and I'm gonna see how fast the dog steps off. So if they're not willing, if they're that, not that interested in you, when you're that close to them, it's because you're rubbing them with your hands. This dog doesn't have tremendous food drive either. She's over there chewing that hot dog. All right, watch. She might go towards Skylar. Here he comes. Watch. Lucy! Lucy! 
So the pause is very apparent in this drill. Sharon, if you're there, you're going, going, boom! Your main job is to not step off. If you said, I'm not putting that much detail into it, that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. The dog, if you're turning that way, is always going to be covering more ground. And for the turn towards, so I want to be able to do that on the leash, off the leash, whatever. And if you said, why? Because she's a puller. So I'm going to be very deliberate with my leash. Yay. And I'm going to use the leash to help me do this. Let me get this out of the way. You said she's not staying right on that thing. She is. Skylar, you get, need to get over here and steal these treats. I'm not moving at all. And see, and then you can see, uh, you can see I'm not staying completely in the line. That's how I'm teaching it. I'm initially, if you said we need to learn to dance, and be, we're going to take it slow. I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> Am I wrong? So that's your turn. And that's your initial. And if you said, well, how are you teaching your healing? I'm teaching them we're going towards that turn. So I could put another X way down here. those yellow lines. She's orienting off the handler. If you said it's going on those yellow lines, I would say, how in God's name would it not nice to go on those yellow lines? It's the handler that needs the yellow lines. And I don't want the dog sitting. comes Alex. If you said that was a... This is a dog that was pulling like a mofo before. All right, watch. Here comes this German Shepherd. Alex let herself out. So this dog, if you said it's going to react to this dog, probably. Why wouldn't it? Lucy! If you said, what does that give you? It gives you two dogs going toward Lucy! Now, Alex now plays the role of the dog called Houdini. Oh, I figured out how she's getting out, but if you said, will she continue to do that? Yeah, as long as I give her the opportunity, absolutely. If you said, correct her, that's not gonna work! All right, but it's a good distraction, so. I got my pager. If you said I can do that without the pager, you can? You want them that tight on that turn. It's a subtask. That little turn is a subtask of the turn itself and you've got to practice this is what you need to do girl you need to just draw this and it is like a balance beam you're walking walking stop walking walking stop walking if you don't practice it without the dog 
it's going to be a lot harder, so watch. The pager sounds the same every time. And I don't, I, I, I don't have to stop right there, but there's a stop. There is a stop. I don't put a stop in the middle. When you're doing this drill, I don't, if you said, well, I'm gonna do an automatic sit in the middle, uh, my response would be, kill me now, good day, sir. <laughs> now I text Mike, kill me now, and good day, sir. <laughs> Whoever it was. All right, and if you said, well, what's the opposite? How can you turn it the other way? The opposite is, it's the same thing, except for, <laughs> I, I'd have to get one that's a little bit farther along, but you're not even people. I don't think it's fair. That, I don't think they need to try to start doing the turn towards in the beginning. Do you, Mike? And you've seen it. They are so out of sync with the dog that they actually wait till the worst possible moment when the dog is shooting ahead of them, and then they try to turn into it. Oh, there's people that have that as a methodology. That one guy, yeah, just turn into it, knee it. It'll learn to look out. So that's Sharon, the, the thing. Draw that up, and if you said, how far apart is it? You know, maybe six feet. I don't know, Mike, you tell me. Whatever my wingspan is. But the, the caveat is, you've gotta have a dog that you can drive forward. If I didn't, the dog would start lagging If you said it's done it the same over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, that's how they learn. <laughs> it's been my experience. Well, that's how they learn. So if you said this thing wasn't a puller, it wasn't a puller. <laughs> and if you said, so this is your solution for pulling. The dog is clearly willing to do something other than pulling. I think we have to say to ourselves, if you said, well, it's clearly not willing to do anything other than pull, I would say, my question to somebody like that would be based on what? You know, and you want to get it. Lucy! You honestly, though, you should have a little... I can go back to the same thing. It's almost like being on a playground. Am I wrong, Mike? It's like a little ride for them. I'm oh, going for a ride. Let's go. Mike's like, she's losing it. Am I wrong though, Mike? It is. Let's go for a ride. Come on, let's go. Because I'm able to create. Let me see. Oh, you can hear the pager. If you can't hear it, I can help you. I'm going to get the sound box, but I'm just going to tell you that confuses people even more unless they made it sound better. All right, guys, so that's the lesson for the day, and Mike can figure out the, the distance I have on that, and I just did it randomly, and you may need to do it farther apart. If, if anything, my advice to people would be do it farther apart. I just did it. The only reason, oh, I'm going to tell you exactly why I did it that. I did it that wide, so I would still be in the shot. So whatever the, whatever the width of this thing screen shooting is. But if it's farther apart, you've got more steps. So say I started way over here. I'm looking at my target. I've got a lot more steps to get ready. Now I'm going way over here. Now I'm turning. Now I'm coming back. Now, now I'm turning. So if it just said, well, you're just being consistent and predictable. Yeah, dogs like that. Yay. Yay. And she still finds me interesting. She's not saying to herself, she's going to put me through this drill. She's going to get on the ride. It's like a little train. It's like a little train track. Yay. And that was with the, you know, what could only be described. I heard her getting out. I could hear the little jangling over there. Uh, unforeseen consequence. <laughs> If you said it's broken out every day for the last week, oh yeah, that's true. It was foreseeable. <laughs>
But that worked out good. And if you said without the pager, I can get them that tight. Oh, he can. Welcome to show me. Anyway, I'll be right back.